All right, in this video, we're going to talk about image blending. I'm going to first start off by saying, what is image blending? Why do we need image blending? How does image blending work? And then jump into some coding examples. Okay, so what is image blending? So image blending is when you combine two images together. Uh, it could be two or more, but here we're using two. And then you have some sort of transition. So you can see here we have the cat uh, overlaid on top of a uh, Joshua tree here. And you can see that the most of the background is apparent and then the cat is more faded in into the transition. And there's gonna be an equation that describes it that we'll talk about later on, but you can see that um, there's a balance between the two images. Okay, so why do we need image blending? Uh, sometimes it's for panoramic images. If you want to stitch several images together to have it uh, combine more smoothly, um, you can also do it for visual effects. Um, those, those will be some applications. And how does image blending work? So typically you'll have this formula here where this is your output pixel destination or DST, and you have your first image and your second image, and these images are scaled by alpha and beta. And usually beta will be a function of alpha, where it's like one minus alpha, so that the sum of the two numbers is one. And then you might have like a gamma variable that's like an offset term, okay? So we'll see what that means when we jump into our code. And we'll get right to it. Okay, so as usual, we will import the libraries that we'll need. Have an import CV2 as CV and import OS for some of our files. And then we'll have a def called image blending. And we'll have an if name equals main and pass in image blending. So inside our image blending, what we want is to read our file. So os.getcwd. And then I'll have two images. So image one path, os.path.join. And then I'm gonna pass in root. My file is gonna be in demo images, uh, cute pick onejpeg And then my image one, I'm gonna read it. So cv.umread and pass in image one path. Okay, so that's my first file, and then I want to get the dimensions. So I have a height and width, and then I'm gonna get image one dot shape. And then for my second image, image two path, is gonna be uh, very similar to this, except the file is gonna be called joshuatree.png. And then likewise, I'm gonna read into the file. So I'm read and then image2.path. And then here we're gonna choose some starting location. So um, I'm gonna choose some values so that I'm gonna get part of the image too. So the thing with image blending is your two images have to be the same. So I'm gonna do some magic here, or not really magic, but just some change in the location. I'm gonna crop it out essentially. So I'm gonna start my X at 400 and Y at zero. And then I'm just gonna slightly offset a little bit and then I'm gonna modify my image two to be a smaller version. Go from Y naught to uh, Y naught plus the height and then x naught to x naught plus the width. Okay, so that's my dimension. And then my window, I'm gonna create a variable called window name and then call it image blending. So I'm gonna then have a cv.named window and pass in window name. So I'm just creating some windows to set it up because I'm gonna be using the track bar later on, okay? So uh, the thing with the numbers is when you have a track bar and you have numbers that's smaller than one, uh, doesn't work quite well. So uh, I'm gonna end up having to scale it and then divide it later, okay? Because alpha is between zero and one and we wanna get a number between zero and one. So we're gonna 
up it to like 0 to 100 and then divide it by our scale factor later on. So I'm going to create a scale called 100 and then cv.create uh, trackbar, pass in our variable alpha and then our window name. 0 is the start and then 1 times our scale value, like I said, and then we have some callback. So we need to make a callback function. Our callback, we will do nothing right now. So input, and then we'll just do pass. And then here, maybe we want to have another variable. So we have alpha, and then we have gamma. And that will be from 0 to 255. OK, and then inside of here, we're going to have a while loop. So while true, and we will check for some uh, key to break. So if cv dot uh, wait key, and this is the usual key we've been using, the q key. So if the wait is q, the key is q, we're going to do some calculations. So we have alpha. Uh, what do we want alpha to be? So we could get alpha from the trackbar. So get trackbar position pass in alpha and the window name. And then we want to divide it by the scale because um, we upped it by 100. So we divide it by 100 now to get it between 0 and 1. And then beta is just going to be 1 minus alpha. And then gamma is cv.get trackbar position, pass in gamma, and then window name. And then image blend equals cv dot add weighted. So this is going to be the formula that does the calculation. So it's a pretty simple formula, but we'll go ahead and use the function. So you pass an image one, pass an image two, and again the two images have to be the same size, and then beta and gamma. And finally, you could do cv dot um, show, uh, pass in the window window name, and then the image blend, OK? And then after we quit, we're going to destroy the windows. So if I run this, we should have a trackbar that lets us tune the pictures and how they transition. So right now, you see the cat is not visible. But if I slowly drag alpha, you can see the cat appears. And if we want only the cat to show, we could drag it all the way to the left. Okay, So you can see the transition. And then the gamma is just like a constant offset that essentially is like the exposure. It's the brightness that overrides everything. Okay. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.